hello, hello, hello. How are you? What is going on? How are we doing today? Hello, Miss Arlene. How are you, sweetie? Oh, so much stuff to do. Renee in the house. Hello. Oh, all right. <clears throat> so we are going to get working on uh, the wild things here pretty soon. So we sit here and chat for a few minutes until a couple people walk in the room. I got some new dyes. I got this one. It's got uh, it's like a um, uh, Rolodex card. It just it doesn't have the bottom pieces, but you know what? I got the little thing that cuts those, so that's not a big deal. And I got me some skeletons, some dancing skeletons. Gotta love dancing skeletons. I got this one. It's like little wood planks. And I thought, how cool was that? If Amy had had that, that would have been awesome for the floor for her thing. Hey, Harry. And then I got this one, which is, this one is a Rolodex card. It's a layered Rolodex. Harry, you're a pain. But uh, yeah, I got that one. And then I got a stamp. It's got a silly owl on it. It's kind of a Christmas stamp. And uh, all of that came in yesterday. Can I help you? Good morning. You heard me say Arlene and you're up here. You live for those moments, don't you? <coughs> Good morning, Carla. Hello, Rebecca. Yes, putty tat. It's the Harry. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Huh. He's the hairy cat. And now we're going to give him some catnip so he will get high, pass out, and leave us alone for 20 minutes. Come on, catnip time. I think you have me trained. That's the deal. All right. There you go. And that's a happy kitty. Okay. <laughs> Oh, boy, I'll tell you. All right, so um, well, we'll start with this because this is done. <clears throat> so, you know, I always do, when I do my journals, I always do two signatures and something in the middle. And this is my something in the middle. I did this little folio. Um, I did do a video on it. I'm going to release the video here shortly. But um, basically, I've got, uh, you know, it, it's going to sew in here. And so you'll have a flap that'll come out this way. Nice big gusseted pocket here. Nice big gusseted pocket here. And a full pad. And I go through the whole thing, you know, how to do the, how to make the pad, uh, how to build the uh, fold out, all that ever, other happy stuff, how to put the gussets in and all of that. Just a little decoration down here, and then we have a map on the back. I may put a pocket on the back of this. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'm thinking about it. So, not completely, completely done, but, you know, partially done. This is going to go, of course, in the middle of our book. It'll be right in here. And so that when you, you can flip it out and have all those pockets and stuff in there. So... That part is 90% eh, done. All right, so we have a book cover. We have some stuff down here. Let me see what's going on. <laughs> Cute, Arlene. All right, let's see what we got. <coughs> All right, so I made the folio uh, out of this Safari Chic stack from DCWV. So I thought we'd use some of that for pockets. 
What else do we have down here? We have all kinds of stuff down here. All right. We also have some uh, green leaf paper, some water paper, and of course, some animal prints. Because, you know, it's where the wild things are. We need to have animal prints. What else do we have? Well, we have a copy of the book. I do have two copies of this. Um, probably going to use the end papers out of here um, to make some pockets and things. And I may cut some of the pieces and parts out of this because they're good size. Mostly things like, you know, the grass, that type of stuff. And this, I haven't found a picture of this anywhere, so we'll probably have to do that. But, uh... You know, we may cut a few things out of here. We may, we may not. You never know. Um, but I do have two copies of this, so we're going to cut one up, and then the other one I'm going to make a bonus book out of. So. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. We have some uh, cut images. I did some printouts and did some cut images. Come on, out of there. Okay. So we have some of those, and we have uh, this little sticker set. We have some scenes from the book that we can use for journaling cards. We have some tags. We have some more uh, cut images. I have some circles, and uh, we've got some leaves and uh, googly eyes. Got lots of googly eyes. And uh, we do have some grass pieces that I have here. Uh, I do have the dies for these out, so if we want to cut some more, we can. And then I went to the store and I found these and these, both of which look like from they're from the book. So um, I grabbed those. And somewhere down here, we have two signatures. So this is our plan for today. We're going to get some signatures into the book. Oh, let's see what's going on over here. All right. I want to make sure I said hello to everybody. So I said hello to Arlene. I said hi to Renee. I did say hi to Carla. Rebecca, how are you, dear? Uh, I don't know if I said hello to you, but I would like to. I went to the store and I found something I write. Steffi's in the room. Hello, Miss Steffi. Nice to see you. Uh, so we're going to get two signatures in today. And um, we're going to change B because B is now going to be the folio, okay? So I'm just going to clip this one onto here, and we're going to replace B with C so that we keep everything straight. It's important. Okay. So. Let's get started. We're going to make a template for this so we can pop some holes. We have uh, I'm comfortable to say we've got about an inch and uh, an inch and five eighths by nine. So let's let's find some scrap and let's cut some things. All right, I got some scrap. All right, one and five eighths.
Hey, man, don't be shifting around in there. Straighten up, fly right. All right. One and five eighths by nine. One. Five eighths. There we go. Hello, Chris. Hello, KK. Okie dokie. So let's get our ruler and let's get some kind of marking device. Uh, I need something that's going to show up. Um, do, 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 do. Let's get all right. <clears throat> all right, so we have one and five eighths. I'm going to turn the overhead on so I can see because I'm blind. Blind, I tell you, blind. All right, so one and five eighths. So Let's do it's nine inches. So we're going to come in an inch top and bottom. Let's start with that. One inch top bottom. Which now makes our distance seven inches, which means middle is going to be three and a half. So let's go. Three and a half, that's our midpoint. So then we have three and a half, which is going to be one and three quarters. All right, so there's our five locations coming down. <clears throat> this is one and five eighths, so we're going to go. So it's five eighths, it's about a half. All right, so there's our middle. here straight. <clears throat> if you don't have a clear grid ruler like this, um, really is a tool that you should have in your journal making supplies. <clears throat> because it makes life a lot easier. All 
All right, we're going to call this the top. This is going to be A, B, C. It'll make sense in a second. Santa shop the past couple of weeks while grocery shopping and get started. <laughs> yeah, gradual. Huh. Oh, Renee, I've been done for months. <laughs> Y'all don't even want to know about my oopsies, okay? I literally have, like, you know those boxes that look like books? I have the big ones. I have like 10 of them up on my pot shelf right here. And they're all full of oopsies. <laughs> they're all full of UFOs. Um, or UCOs, and unidentified crafted objects. Um, yeah. Okay, get out the all. Hello, Miss Candy. All right, any place that we have an intersection, we're going to pop a hole. What's the matter? You hear interesting noise up here? Yeah. All right. So we have 15 holes. Hi, Harry. I thought I'd give you catnip so you'd pass out. You're just in a loving mood now? Oh, lovely. Harry, down, down, no, down. Thank you. I do not know what that is, but I don't want to hear it. <clears throat> I have the grands. They're over visiting me. All right. So. Book, foam, clippity clip, clippity clip. We're going to poke some holes. So somebody asked me why I poke the holes before I uh, poke them on the book. Because if I screw it up on the template and it doesn't look right when I hold it up, I don't want to find that out when I'm doing the book. That is stuff I want to know before. So I always poke the holes so that I can look at it and make sure that they look straight. All right. 15 holes in the book. Look to the side. And then I'm going to fold this one. This is the A line. This is the top. This is the top. We're going to find the center. Wherever that may be. There it is. And the A goes into the center. Now, here's the thing. 
the pages are eight and a half. The book is nine. So I'm going to find that spot where I'm setting this one. And I'm going to mark on my template where that is. That way, when I fold the rest of these up, I'm going to have the same mark, okay? On the back and on the front. That means I'm going to have the same height, top to bottom, on all of the things that I put in here. All right? All right. So now we're just going to hold this down in the crease. You will clamp this. I will not. One, two, three, four, five. Top. A. C. Look, my line tells me where it goes. Tell you what, when my kids were little, I used to keep a box stashed in my room full of stuff. Not for Christmas, necessarily, but for the 8.25 a.m. Oh, by the way, I'm supposed to bring a Christmas present for Todd today. Gotta love children. B, top, C, top, B is coming up now. <clears throat> All right, so this is B. And remember, this is where we're going to put our stitch. So I'm going to take this. Oh, I can't take that out. I glued it in. Okay. I didn't glue it in, but you'll understand. You'll understand. You'll get it later. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. Now, here's the thing. This... <clears throat> is only eight inches so it's going to be a little bit different where i stitch this at this in and make sure that I get it even top and bottom I like it One, two, three, four, five. 
All right. <clears throat> Mischief managed. All right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. Mommy's got it. He's going to love it. And of course, your child walks off. I don't want to go to a stupid party. Um, <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> because when we did this, we did A, B, C. When we turned the book over, we now have A, B, C. Ah, C, smart. Okay. So, we're going to get needle and some binding thread out here. Let's get needle. I'm going to I'm going to see if there's a better color on this one. I'm going to do this one. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to cut some of this one off. I think this one just looks more like, you know, jute. Better color, I think. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Yeah, the world's giantest needle here. It's not. Doll making needles are huge. This one's not even that big. Alrighty. You're B. Keep your tag on. This is A. Hey, A. All right. So I'm going to take A. I'm going to put A on the first set of dots over here. We're going to go down through the center of A. And in to... The first call. Now, to prevent this from going all the way through, that's what A's clamp is for. I'm give myself about four, five, six inches out here. Doesn't have to be much. But I'm just going to clip that onto the thread. And that prevents me from pulling it any further through than what I intend. All right. So let's get this signature sewn in here. All right. First one's always the worst. All right, she's back from the potty. All right. It's back out of the way. Did everybody get their clock set last night? Be 
people around here were cussing up a storm. <laughs> I was like, you know, tonight's daylight savings. They're like, son of a. <laughs> All right. Y'all know who that was. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Let's go. There we go. Okay. Round. Back up. All right. Now we're cooking with bacon. All right, so this is, um, because the question is always asked, um, I get this email immediately following every time I throw in signatures. This is waxed linen thread, okay? You can buy a spool about this big. I've had this one for about two and a half years uh, for like seven, eight bucks um, on Amazon. Okay. And if you want to try it before you buy it, let me know. I'll just send you a sample so you can, you know, use it to sew in some signatures. No big deal. <laughs> Teresa, hello, dear. How are you? If I miss anybody, just, you know, nudge me. Actually, if I miss anybody, Arlene will instant message me in the background and go, hey, stupid. <laughs> All right, we're going to set the second one in. So I went yesterday, as you all know, um, I was dark on my channel. And the reason that that is, is that I, I go out and cover. And I have the munchkins on the weekends. Um, so we went yesterday because um, my youngest grandson, Buggy, has got some foot funk going on. Like to the point his mother is ready to kill him. And he's not in the double digit yet, so there's no reason for him to really have a foot funk other than he runs around wearing his damn shoes without socks. So I'm going to put a heavier clip on this because it's pulling through. I said, all right, I'll take care of it. So yesterday I took my grandson to Walmart to buy him some And a pair of shoes. Also a large bottle of Listerine. Y'all know that trick. So we found a pair of shoes that he liked and they fit. They had them in his size. There were not very many shoes in his size because he's at that size where he's like right between kids and adult. So we found a pair in his size and he was happy with them and I was happy with them and we were ready to go. We got up to the front and they wouldn't ring up. And after like the 10th time that the employees tried to ring it up, they went, oh, these are on recall. Well, you got 50 pairs of them sitting back there. <laughs> Somebody needs to get on the, getting on and get these things off the floor. Now, go through the hole. Don't give me any crap. Just go through the hole. Seriously? Look, there. There. I can see the hole. 
go through the hole. Yeah, it's like the struggle bus here. Um, so I ended up getting him one pair of shoes. And I got him some socks that have like the water wicking, odor preventing, garbly goop $15 pair, you know, pack of five pairs of socks. You know, y'all know. Yeah, like they don't un they don't get the whole concept that sneakers and bare feet are not. So brought him home, and he's like, "When are you gonna put my feet in the listerine?" I was like, "Just chill out. We're gonna eat dinner and stuff, and then you know, we'll do your feet." So, Bima has a foot bath. You know. Infrared, vibrating, the whole nine years. Yeah. Hello, I'm married to Hubbard. Um, so put him in uh, the kid's room because he's he's the only one that really goes in there because he likes to go in and watch TV. Nobody bothers him. So we're sitting here and uh, I take the foot bath in there after dinner and I fill it with warm water and put in the appropriate amount of Listerine. <laughs> and then I said, here, this ought to make this better for you. Cause he was like, he had a face on him. And uh, so I turned on the vibration. Yeah. He liked that. He's like, I like the massage. <laughs> so, um, after I did his feet in the Listerine for about 30 minutes on vibrate, um, he comes out and he's dried his feet off and he's like, and they're so smooth. I'm like, oh my God. Um, <laughs> so I told him, I said, listen, here's the deal. One, wear clean socks every day. That's the start. Two, I'm going to give you a spray bottle with alcohol. You are going to spray your shoes every time you take them off. They're going to get all wet. Alcohol is going to dry almost immediately. Calm yourself down. You're going to take home some of this Listerine. And about once a week, you're going to put some on a cotton ball and you're going to wipe your foot down with it between your toes. Do this after a shower, not before. Because he also shares a room with his brother, which means his poor brother has to smell his foot funk. Not cool. So yeah, now he wants to know when he has to do another foot bath at Bima's. Hello, Francis! It's a real easy fix, Steph. Seriously. Four parts Listerine, one part water. Make them soak for 20 to 30 minutes. You may have to do it a couple of weeks Uh once a week for a couple of weeks, like three, four weeks to kill it. It's a, it's a fungus. But yeah, they got feet that can choke a horse. Hey son. Hello. What can I help you with? You are just going to pitch until you get them, aren't you? Aren't you? It means you're going to keep bugging me. Until you get that box of M&M's. 
you know, every time you come over, you eat all my M&Ms and then I go out and I buy new ones. And then I'm like, oh, I've got some now. I'm happy. And then I come home and I'm like, I put them in the cabinet so I can eat them when I want to. And then all of a sudden they disappear because you come back to visit. <laughs> And I'm getting the shaft. Oh, yeah, the between size thing. We don't even get me started. Oogie, holy crap, and only. She's tall, but she's so narrow, thin that, like, she needs to be, she's tall enough for, like, Missy sizes, junior sizes, but. She's still kid size. I dread the summer with that one because every year it's the same song and dance. Trying to find a swimsuit for her. Because if they fit her like they cover her butt and everything, um, they're, they're not long enough to cover her torso. So, you know, her hoo-hoo and stuff all hangs out. All her stuff, you know. Can't we just have kids that are one size? Can't they just all be one size? One size fits all kids. Fit in there. You're going to stand there and stare at the back of my head until I let you have those M&Ms, aren't you? Aren't you? All right. I think that might be the easiest we've ever sewn in three signatures. Oh. Hi, Shelly. All right. So we have three signatures in the book. They're nice and even and level. All right, we have two signatures and our little folio in the book. This one does not come out. It's not going to be a come out, you know, a takeout one. This one's going to stay in. Um, and again, I sewed them in and forgot to put the rickrack. So I will have to do that. Um, it's easy enough to do. I'll, I'll just get it done when y'all aren't here listening to me cuss about it. Um, <laughs> but uh, we have them sewn in. And so we can, uh, you know, we can get started kind of moving forward on this and doing some pockets and things. and. Uh, getting some decoration going. I'm telling you, it's going to be the fastest one we do, we've do. we done so far. So I'm going to put this to the side for the moment. We're going to talk about. All right. So let's talk about some stuff. Step number one. Um, I am not going to be having a sale in December any way, shape, and or form. Okay? I know I normally do a countdown sale, um, but I'm not going to do that this year. I am going to have one more sale between now and the 1st of December. I'm kind of working it out. Um, I'm going to blow out a bunch of lace and stuff that I have. Basically, all the laces in my shop are going to go on sale. That's going to be my countdown. So if it's in my shop and it's listed for $3, I'm going to sell it for two. If it's in my shop and it's listed for two, I'm going to sell it for one. Um, if it's in my shop and it's a dollar, who knows what I'll sell it for. Also, yesterday, when I was out on this big adventure trying to find shoes for my grandson, um, I stopped in a Goodwill. You know I can't help myself. Um, <laughs> and while I was in the Goodwill, I found some bags, right? Imagine that, bags. Well, the first thing I got out of the bags were these. These are pom-pom makers. And I got a full set of them. So, um... I'm going to sell those. 
But more importantly, I got all of these. Um, these are vintage. You know how I know this? Because there is a Kmart tag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well, we have seven buttons on a card. Six packs for a dollar. That's how I know these are all vintage. <laughs> um, here's one. Uh, seven buttons, four for a dollar. Eighty cents. Forty-two cents. These are all vintage buttons. So what I'm going to do is, if it's a set like this, because there are a couple of these in here where there's like three or four of the same. If it's a set like this, I'm going to sell it for one price. If it's a, just a solid card like this, it's going to be a dollar. If it's only got one button like this or two buttons like this, you know, where it's just a couple of buttons, I'm going to put a bunch of those in a bag for a dollar. So I'm going to blow out these vintage buttons in that sale. 70 cents. Look at that. They're shank buttons. Look at all these little brass buttons and stuff. And, and, and they're all in here and they're dirt, dirt. They were, the price on them was like dirt, dirt cheap. So, um, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to package all of these up. And, um, you know, like I said, if it's look 29 cents for six buttons. I know, right? Hi, Mary. Um, so yeah, so like 29 cents, six buttons. I'm going to sell that for a buck because it's a full card. So that's my Christmas present to everybody else. Um, so I'm going to get these organized. And In the same bags, I found two things that were really cool. One is this one. This is the Sewing Susan 70 assorted gold and silver eye needles with threader. It's a little case. Okay, the threader is missing and not all the needles are there, but look. Some of the original needles are still in here. And I just thought that was stinking cool. So, um... I may do this for auction. Who knows? But this one, oh my God, over the top. Ready? So this one came from Save On. Um, originally, it was 98 cents. It's from the Mattel Toy Company. These are Barbie and Midge. These are freaking buttons. These are buttons. They're like they have two little holes in them. They're buttons. These are buttons. This one over here, these ones here, these are shank buttons. They have a hole in the back. These are little Barbie clothes buttons uh, for Barbie and Midge, best friends, yada, 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 yada. 1964 is the copyright on this one. Uh, I'm going to auction it off. So they even got the zippers in here for the dresses and stuff. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to auction these two items off. They're gorgeous. And, um, you know, we'll get those out. Hello, Miss Tina. So I have my Christmas list. Um, 
started. I have making my Christmas cards. I got those almost all the way done. And uh, I should be getting those out shortly. What else? All right. So back to the, the shop thing. As I said, I'm not going to have a sale in December. I am going to have a one week Black Friday type sale where I'm going to take 25% off of everything in the shop. Um, except journals, no journals, everything else. Yes. Journals. No. Um, but do keep in mind that just before the Black Friday, there's a few items I'm going to be putting into the shop that have not been listed. Two steampunk hats. A Disney villains journal. Nope, that one's gone. Tinkerbell. Um, Harry Potter. And... Obviously, where the wild things are. And the Jack Skellington, the nightmare before Christmas. Somebody be putting all those in there. And I may put them in one day, like one at a time over the one week period. So. You'll have to check the shop every day. Keep an eye on your, uh, if there's something you're looking for, keep an eye on your what I'm postings because it's going to go in the shop and out, in and out. That's it. It's going to go in, it gets sold, or I'm pulling it, one or the other. Mm. Uh. Anything else fun or exciting going on around here? <laughs> Just take a look at the book. November. Tomorrow, I have a video coming out on um, some little burlap ornaments. They're stinking adorable, guys. They're adorable. Um, next Monday, on the 15th, I used the unicorn. I did. I made a book using the unicorn. Um, we're going to be doing a couple other things, including, you know, some more gift things that you can do and... Um, some really great storage ideas. Um, the sales on the 7th will be starting January 7th. Okay. Look, we got the new journal for 2021-2022. Here we go. January 2022. On January the 7th, that's going to be our first one. It's a Friday. And it is the first Friday of the month. First Friday of the year. And then we're just going to do it on the 7th, moving forward. And there's a reason that I did that. Um, the reason that I picked the seventh is because if you look at it on the calendar, um, Defy does theirs on the second Saturday of the month. There's no way in hell that uh, the seventh is going to fall on the second Saturday. Just doesn't. Not through the whole year. So I have the new book. We're going to get started putting this one together so that you know we're we're ready. Um, 
this poor book has been through a lot. <laughs> but it's retiring. Uh, so the seventh of every month, we're going to be doing sales. And that'll give me the whole month to go and scavenger and find stuff, bring it home, have a week before the sale to get it all together and be ready to put it out to you guys. Um, it's, as I get better organized for the next one that's coming up for the November sale, I will keep you guys informed as to the date of that one. And I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking to make sure that I didn't have anything else that I wanted to tell you guys. I don't think I did. I think I had everything. Okay. So I am going to... Do the rick rack on this off camera because you guys don't need to hear me cuss up a storm about it. I can do it, but it just it I'm gonna cuss up a storm. And so I'm gonna get that done. The new planner is, I don't know. I got this one off of, um, off of Amazon. I could drop a link, but it, it doesn't have the weeks in it. You know, it's just the months. And I like that because I don't really use the weeks for me. That's just waste. But it's got a nice pocket in the back and it's got, you know, all your holidays. It's got some note places where I can write some notes, which is the one part that I really do use. Um, and then it's got, you know, like contact information in it and stuff, but it just has the months. I will pull up one second. I'll put a link in for you because this was really inexpensive too. My orders. Yeah, so this planner was only eight dollars, seven ninety nine. Copy. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, so this one was only eight dollars, and it's a nice size. You know, it's it's good size, and I think the reason that it was eight dollars is because it was a twenty two month planner, um, because it goes from. July of 2021 through December of 2022. So like six months is already gone pretty much. So they discounted it and it's not bad. Um, there's a couple of different ones they have. They have one that has flowers all over it. And then another one that's like green and flowers and not my kind of, not my cup of tea. They are cheaper than this one, but I like this one. I like the cover on it. I like the feel of it. It's got that, that buttery feel to it. So um, so I grabbed this one because it, it works and it looks like it's hand painted, but it's not, you know, but it, it has that look, but, um, yeah, it's, it's a one day delivery too. So if you're prime, should there's the link. Oh, okay. So. What else did I get yesterday? I did scaventure and I got a couple other things. I did get a big jar of black chalk paint. We all know how much I love black chalk paint um, for my journals. And so, all right. So I had a bunch of people that asked if I would, you know, do a like a build a journal with me. Now I've done it as a video. Um, there's a whole playlist of how to do it um, as a video. But I've had people ask me if I will do it with them live, you know, in this format. And I, I'm assuming that's so that, you know, they can ask questions. Um, in which case, I will be happy to do that. Uh, keeping in mind, it's how I do journals. It is not necessarily the right way. It's just my way. Um, it's not the, the way that everybody does them. It's the way I do them. 
but I will do a complete walkthrough. I will give, I will post a video with all the possible tools you might need and a tool list. I may post it in my group as opposed to, you know, just on YouTube. Um, so I may post it just on, on Facebook. Um, but I will give you like everything that you will need to make a book. Um, and I'll do it the two ways. I will show you how to do it this way where we build the book. So we'll do this in one, one live. And then in the next live, we'll talk about, you know, you can do this with, if you already have a book like a reader's digest and I'll show you how to gut a book. Okay. Um, and we'll gut a book and I'll show you how to do it that way as well. And you know, how to pick your papers and why you might want to use a five or even a seven whole pamphlet stitch, um, depending upon the papers that you're putting in. So we'll talk about all of those things. I will give you the, the, the list of everything you could possibly use. I'll also put a link in there somewhere um, to the book binding kit that I have, that I use personally. It comes with a uh, wax thread. It comes with an awl. It comes with a ruler. It, it, it just needle, clamps, everything. Uh, even a bone folder. So um, I will put a, list, a link to that. If it's still available, if not, I'll find something comparable. Um, but I'll put a link to that in there so that you guys can, you know, if you want to do that, you can get a book binding kit uh, and they're reasonably inexpensive. They're less than $20, 15, 20 bucks. Uh, but I will put that in there and I'll give you the complete list of everything that we could, you know, possibly need to do this. And then I will go through and as we do it, we'll do, you know, we'll do kind of a thing and I'll do a general journal just to, you know, a general themed journal for it. Bye, Arlene. <laughs> um, but, you know, we'll do that and, and I'll walk you guys through my process, um, which is kind of a general, there's a bunch of generalities there, but, uh, you know, even how to pick ephemera pieces that are going to coordinate and work together. And why some things don't look like they're going to work together. And then you get them together and you go, dang, that worked. So, <laughs> so we'll do that as well. All right. So where are we? We are just over the hour. And I am kind of stuck, uh, stopped on this. I will cut some pockets that we can do. Um, because... Um, yeah, my dumb butt forgot to, you know. Um, so let's do this. First thing I'm going to do is cut these down um, to six inches wide because then they'll fit in my other cutters better. So I'm going to cut these down to six inches. I'm just going to do them on this little paper trimmer. And then we'll cut some pockets to get started. And remember, if there's a theme, you know, for vid, for a, a journal that you want to see me do, you know, like um, a book that, you know, you loved or as a child or something or, you know, just generalized, um, you know, I'm going to do a cat in the hat we've got coming up. We've got a peanuts coming up. Um, I think. I think I have a Rugrats that I'm working on. A Mary Poppins is coming up. And uh, a Winnie the Pooh little golden book. We're going to do one of those. So if you have something along those lines that you would like to see, let me know. No, I'll gladly do it. All right. So we're going to cut some pockets here. 
Um, let's take a quick measure just so we know we're doing this right. So we're going to go five and a quarter. That's our massive width is five and a quarter. So we're just going to cut a couple of pockets here. And I'm going to back these pockets on um, with cardstock. So I'm going to use these as mats for my pockets. So I'm going to cut them a little bit smaller than I normally would. So these are going to be five because I'm going to leave an eighth of an inch on either side. Okay. And then let's do five by four. And then we'll cut this at an angle. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna leave that for a moment. Let me let me pull out a piece of paper for this. So okay. Where the sidewalk ends? Yeah, that's a good one. And the giving tree. I love the giving tree. All right. I'm going to show you guys this because I've had about 20 questions on this one. So this one is four inches wide by five inches. And I'm going to back it on something. So how do I do that? So I have a four by five. So I'm going to cut a four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then see, it's got that little bit all the way around. Well, I want to have that little bit in the front too. So what I do is I shift this to the corner here leaving the whole piece here open. Then I just make sure I keep it that way in my cutter. I find where I'm going to cut, like right there. Take that off. And then when I shift this into the center, I end up with that eighth of an inch all the way around. Okay? So. There you have it. So this one is just under two. We're going to make this one one and a half because I'm going to do this across as a belly band. So one and a half by five. Fantastic. Let's do an up and down belly band. And that is eight and a half. Eight and a half. So we're going to do. I'm going to take three and a half off. That leaves me eight and a half there. And I'm going to cut this one at two and a quarter. And you know what? Let me do one and three quarters because I'm going to back this. And if I back it, it's going to be two. So we'll do it that way. And then um, let's get... some water. We're going to do this one at two by five. And we're going to do this one. What did we just cut off of that? We just cut two off of it. So we're going to cut another inch and a half because I need it to be eight and a half. Right. 
And I'm going to make this a nice deep side pocket. Okay. So we're going to nice. go two and three quarters. Need to take a quarter of an inch off of this. Quarter of an inch. There we go. Okay. And we're going to do a nice square one on this one as well. I want this one to be on the other side. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to keep uh, cutting out some pockets and things and uh, getting all of those built up. And then when I come back, uh, let's see, this is Sunday. So I'm off on Monday. I'm re releasing a video tomorrow. Tuesday is Hubber day. I'll be with Hubber all day on Tuesday. Um, I have videos to record and stuff over the weekend, uh, Wednesday morning at 10 AM. When I come back, um, we'll take a look at some of the pockets and we'll get started putting pockets in and getting this one decorated. Okay. So I release videos twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays videos are usually tutorials. Wednesdays are usually like a product review or a quick, um, folio or something like that, you know, something really quick that you can just kind of whip out uh, a tag or something and, um, or pockets or, you know, weird stuff on Wednesdays. I go live on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday every week. Um, I go live at 10 AM. Uh, that is 10 Pacific standard time, 11 mountain, 12 central, one o'clock out on the East coast, anywhere else you got to figure that one out. And uh, let's see what else. That's it. Listen, guys, if you're new here and you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that red button for me and subscribe. Like me, ring my bell, share me with all your friends. Then your friends can be my friends. My friends can be your friends and our friends can get to be friends. And before you know it, we have a giant crafting community. I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here so I can spend a little bit of time out with Hubbard before he has to log in today. I know it's a short one, but it's a Sunday and, uh, I will see you guys next time. Until then stay safe. Bye-bye.